Hello, it's Paul with Logix Magazine. Today we're going to talk about the Designer Compare Tool. And we're going to get into it. Uh, we're going to show you how to be able to take two separate programs that we don't know how similar they are. And we want to compare the two to each other. We want to see what are the differences in, in rungs and instructions and tags and modules and the whole gamut, the, everything there is in between any two programs. We're going to have a, we're going to use a tool that will analyze both programs and then give us a report as to what the differences are. It's a very awesome tool that Rockwell has. It's fantastic. Um, and th there will come times when this becomes a very important time saving tool. I think it's really important for you to be aware that this tool exists and understand really how simple and easy it is to use and how you can generate a very simple report that will uh, give you all the information you need uh, to diagnose the difference between the two. Uh, but first, if you're really interested in an automation career, I'm telling you, you got to subscribe and hit that bell. Uh, so you'll be notified every time we put out a video. And if at the end you have any questions, you let me know, put it down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this. All right, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're just going to pick a couple of tools here. And I've got something pulled up here. So we're going to take this file, and we're going to put it up there. And we're going to take this file, and we're going to use an archive file, and we're going to run it. Now, we'll come back to it. We'll pick a, another program, and we will show you step-by-step step how to utilize it. But the first thing is I want to just kind of give you the value that this tool has. Then we'll break it down just a little bit. Really, the, what you need to do is get this tool, get a couple of programs, and work on comparing it, playing around with the tool, just so that you get to understand, get some hands-on as to what the differences are. All right? All right. So here's our report. Here's our basic compare results. Okay, on the left, we have a summary. Uh, and on the middle, we have the left content, the right content. Now, let's look at the summary. So if I if I toggle through each of these, it's going to give me some information, okay, as to what the difference is between each other, all right? So let's start up here at the summary. In the left-hand side, we see that we have 166 controller tag differences between the left and the right. Now, what this is, why is this 164 versus 166? There's 166 different tag tags in the left content and 164 in the right content differences from each other. I hope that makes sense. One controller property difference. Okay, we're going down there. Eight tag differences on one, seven on the other, 89 on one, 81 on the other. Okay, and then it says that we have seven module differences on one, five on the other, seven data. Data types differences, five on the other. You get the picture, all right? So let's go ahead and look at our controller, all right? All right, so now we have another pop-up here. We're going to move this over here a little bit. I can't tell you how important this is. This is really going to be important for those of you who are looking to, to do um, some contract work, especially. You're going to try and look at um, old pro old files and try and, and match uh, versions, for example. This will also be important between when you're working on projects that have multiple uh, creators. So multiple programmers are putting together uh, bits and pieces and putting in putting information together, which happens. In my experience, it happens rarely, but it does happen. I, I've got a, a guy I'm working with in Mexico, and he uh, he has uh, a company, works for a company that does that. Multiple programmers will put together a one big program. So it does happen. It's very important to to um, be able to control your versions and make sure that you're uh, managing the updates and the changes. So this is a very important tool. Okay, so we'll go back here. Let's get back to this. Controller properties. The left it gives you the controller type. It gives you a lot of information here, right? So uh, the name, data uh, table pad percentage. 
time slice, processor type, minor uh, revisions, lots of good information right here that tells you quite a bit about what's the difference between the two programs. And that could be important, a uh, very big time saver. All right, we're going to click on this. Now we're going to look at properties, right? And actually, it, we just got kind of a, a glimpse of that here just a minute ago. Oh, we got to move this out of our way so we can see it. So that's our properties difference. And controller tags difference. And it's generating the info. All right, so now we have all of our controller tags that are that are different. Okay, so it looks like... Let's close this up over here. It's a lot of information here, if you think about it, if you look at it. Let's uh, shrink this down some so we can get, get this opened up. There we go. And we'll put this down here. Okay. So what do we got? Oh, we got camera types, keyants. We don't have that here. You see the red is the differentiation. Scanner routines, raw barcode strings. So we have a whole report here that tells us everything in our, our controller tags that are different between each program. So that's actually very, very helpful um, as we work to uh, identify whatever differences there may be from program to program. All right, so now we have our controller tag information. All right, that's that's helpful. Okay, let's open this back up a little bit more. Let's dig a little deeper into this. Okay, so we look at our modules. Controller, boom, boom. Okay, all right, so our modules are quite a bit different too. You'll notice here in red, there's a, dif there's a difference. In the blue, similarity. So we have uh, an extra two two scanner modules and two camera modules, and we have an SR and IV one. So there, there's the difference. All right. Let's look at data types. All right. Use it to find data types. All right. So we have some differences here as well. So what this what this program will help you do is identify what is different between one program and the next, and you can see how that's doing that. It's really sharing a lot of good information with you. All right. Very important. And we get into our main tasks. All right. So there we go. We, we've got some information here. Let's look at our scanner. All right. Logic. All right. So now this is what I wanted to share with you. Uh, get into this here. So we have some some differences and it outlines a, a very exact uh, code that is different. It calls it out, very specific code. And this is very, very helpful for you. You can identify what code is similar, what's different, where it's different. You can identify the very specific rungs that are different, um, those that are the same. And I think that that's very helpful. If you've never had to do a project, that utilize this tool comparing two different programs and maybe working on revisions or updating or changing, you're, you wouldn't appreciate a tool like this uh, very much. But the minute that you have a project that you need a tool like this, you'll be very thankful that Rockwell put this together for you. So I think this is a great tool. It's benefited me in the past. Um, I'm sure it will continue to benefit me. So you can see how I'm doing this now, right? So I'm looking at my tasks, right? And I open up my tasks. I just click on um, anything that's red. Oh, I could click on blue too, right? But anything that's red, and I'll open up and I'll identify the differences. Very specific. Now, there's one more thing I really want to share with you is, now we can print this report out, or we can create a PDF report, which is awesome, right? So we it shows here the project name, the second project name, and uh, and then the PDF. So I'm just going to put this on my desktop just so that we, we have this, right? Let's go ahead and save that. And that's going to save that in a PDF. Now we have all the information we need that tells us the difference between the two. It does a complete deep uh, analysis of the differentiation between the two programs. It gives you a lot of great tools to be able to dig into and get some visuals as to what is different. 
Then it will generate a report from which you can use uh, however you, you need. If you have to update or change or change revisions, whatever, you'll have all the information you need. All right, so let's minimize this if we can. Let's um, look for our report right there. Bring that over, and this is our report. You can see it's a 364-page report, very in-depth, and gives us all the information that we just looked at um, in our utility tool here, in our tool. But it prints it out for us, and it's got everything to include the rungs and the very specific uh instructions or rungs or modules and and everything that's different all right so anyhow i just want to take a few minutes and share this with you didn't want to take too much of your time on this friday but take a look at this tool the tool um when you download your software rockwell um logics designers tools and you'll find that on logics designer compare tool all right so if you have any more questions by Feel, feel free to put them down below. And again, if you really want to grow your, your automation career, you know, I've given a lot of good, helpful uh, information here for you. But again, I can't do it for you. You got to get out there and you got to dig into these tools, practice and play around with them, and then um, make them work for you. And then if you have any questions, put them down below. I'd love to answer them. And if you really, really care about growing your career, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified every single time we put out a video. So until next time, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Keep programming, my friends.